Now it's time to start on the outline. Before we get started, I want to mention something that has happened in the past. Sometimes students sit down and write the essay and then copy the essay content and paste it into an outline. That will not be given any credit. The outline needs to be completed according to the template that we're going to go over right now. I'm going back to the assignment page and we have now moved past the selections, past the archetype, and we are ready to move down to the outline, the template for which is shown here. You may want to copy this template and paste it into a document. You'll thank me for this, I promise. The introduction is one paragraph. First, let me change this to blah, 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 blah. Now it's time to move on to the outline. Before we start, in the past, students have sometimes sat down, written the essay, and then copied and pasted the content into an outline. That will receive zero points for credit. The outline needs to follow the exact template that we are going to go over right now. That template is found within the essay assignment itself. Let's go over this together. Come back to the assignment page. We've done the character, we've done the archetype, we've done all of these things, and now we're ready to move on to the outline. You may want to copy this outline and paste it into a Word document. You'll thank me for this, I promise. I've given you the introduction template. The introduction is one paragraph, so I've broken the paragraph down into actual sentences. And if you will follow these sentences, you will find yourself with a beautifully written introduction. The second section of the outline, which will consist of multiple paragraphs, is going to discuss the first heroic quality that you listed in the archetypes. Since we are going to be using this formula throughout the essay, sections 3 and 4 are following this same template. Now, your first point in this section is that a tragic hero, or whatever hero you have chosen, possesses a particular quality. And you're going to make sure that you cite that from the definition that you have found. Remember back in the research phase where we searched for a definition of that archetype? That's right. You'll go back to that document and you will copy and paste what it is that that hero does and show the citation for that definitive source. Then you're going to mention the hero that you are writing about exhibits that same trait in these examples. And now it's time to move on to the next archetype. Three in the next section and then the next section. Now we're ready for the conclusion after having followed all of that this particular template in each of the sections. Now the conclusion is one paragraph. I always write the conclusion long before I've written the full essay because as I look for the quotes that I find in my research, I will add those into my conclusion. And that way, at the end of the essay assignment, I've already written my conclusion. I just have to write the sentences out in complete, well-written, documented sentences. So, in the conclusion, one sentence summarizes the actions of the character and hero in new words, not copying and pasting from another part of the essay. Now, we're going to write one sentence that summarizes the archetype of that character. Next, in this particular area of the conclusion, you're going to refer back to the notes that you created. Where did we keep those notes? That's right. Those notes are located in this handy folder that we made at the very beginning of this project. In this folder, I will find 
little notepads of interesting facts that I found, quotes, making sure that I have cited exactly where that quote came from. All that information is at hand for the creation of this outline. So this area of the conclusion contains two of those items. So we have sentence one, two, three, and four. Now we have a nifty quote about the type of hero that I'm studying. Remember when I looked at the definitive source that defined my archetype? Remember we found that one on tragic heroes? I found a nifty little quote in there that I'm going to use right here in the conclusion. And then I'm going to conclude the conclusion paragraph with something philosophical, something fascinating, something important about how this particular archetype is was popular in the 1600s and it's popular today. Well, I don't know what, what but I'm going to make some philosophical, wonderful statement to the end the essay. And that is the outline. And once again, if a student writes an essay and then takes the content and pastes it into the outline, zero credit will be given. Instead, make life easy, copy this template, fill it out with your own information, and then you have completed the outline.